Hi guys, Kutkov here. And as promised in the previous video, I will be looking into Unity and VR in this video. And even better, it will be a series of videos exploring how to properly do VR in Unity. And I can tell you right off the bat, a lot has changed since my original video on VR three years ago. Back then you basically had to code everything yourself, and now we have a much improved Oculus integration and kits like VRTK, which will do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. This series is based on one of the Unity Learn videos, now for free due to the coronavirus outbreak. However, I will skip the game development theory, work in Unity 2019 instead of 2018, change the order of things, and we'll start with a terrain-based uh, setup instead of an indoor environment. Later we will explore some other environments and try stuff which isn't featured in the Unity course. The demo in the background is showing the end result of the next video, when we already achieve basic teleportation. Let's start doing the basic setup of a VR project, which you can reuse as a template for multiple projects. Ok, so the first step is to go to the asset store and import the Oculus integration package. It's free, so no worries here. While the Oculus integration is being imported, let me share some of the plans for the upcoming videos. After we complete basic teleportation on a Gaia Pro created terrain, we will first look into getting the audio working. Next I want to add Vegetation Studio Pro to get more lush vegetation. We will do a more advanced teleportation, interaction with objects using VRTK, check what the profiler thinks of the scene and add some special effects. Water will be a topic in itself, so I will check various assets, including Aquas. I will add some sort of a boss fight using Elliot AI, and I also want to check if we can do some speech commands using the Google APIs. There are a few topics which I'm considering, but not sure yet how to do it, like gesture recognition. Also, the order of the videos is subject to change. At the end of the import, you will need to upgrade a few plugins and restart the editor. Next we will open the package manager and install the Oculus desktop package. This is a straightforward process. Installing VRTK is a two-step process and has two prerequisites. You will have to have Git installed and you will need a GitHub account for it. First find your project folder using the explorer and edit the manifest JSON file in the packages folder. I'm using Visual Studio Code, but you can use any other editor. At the top of the JSON file, copy the code snippet shown in the insert into your code. You can find this code in the VRTK GitHub page, watch the accolades, commas and square brackets and make sure to have the exact number as shown in the insert. Next move down to the bottom of the JSON file and add the extend reality line. To make sure you use the latest version, in my case 1.1.11, you should check the VRTK GitHub page first. Now 
Once you close the JSON file and the package manager, it will import the VRTK package. Next, go to the Assets folder in the Project Hierarchy and select Show in Explorer. Right-click the Assets folder in the Explorer and select Git Bash here. You will get a login prompt where you need to enter your GitHub credentials. As you can see, I tried typing in the git command, and that was a mistake. Instead, just copy the git clone command from the insert. Again, this code can be found in the VRTK page. The last step is to change the player preferences. Go to the project settings and scroll down to the XR settings in the player section. As you can see, these settings are deprecated, so we'll have to look up how the new method works later. For now, I just ignore the warning since the options still work in 2019.3. Click on the checkbox for Virtual Reality Supported. Unselect the Shared Depth Buffer and Dash Support. While I show you the XR plugin management from the preferences, we will not be using that, I will wrap up the video. I hope you liked it and I look forward to sharing more VR themed videos. Thanks for watching and please vote up the video if you liked it. If you have VR related suggestions to include in the upcoming videos, then please let me know in the comments.